Hi guys, welcome to my channel, welcome to Power Code, and today we're going to learn how to create natural function to avoid obstacles. So stay around. The way we're going to do this today, we're going to create an array where we're going to put several numbers and we're going to avoid those numbers. For the example that you have on the screen, I have the numbers from 1 to 6 and I want to avoid the, those numbers and in principle the result should be 2 and 5. So now let's go to Visual Studio. So let's go to Visual Studio. Let's open Visual Studio. Let's create a new project. I'm going to select Azure Function. Next. I'm going to create an, a function and I'm going to call Power Code. The score avoids obstacles. Let's press create. Oh, first of all, let's change here the path. Let's put on our folder demo. Azure function select. Once again, if you want to see the code, the code will be available on my um, GitHub. Let's create a HTTP trigger as we create the other. And now here we have our function by default, created by default, we're going to get rid of all this information that we won't need, oops. Let's write here something, okay. So here, what we're going to put, you're going to change this to, let's write here, input array. The name, the name's going to be input array as well. So we just change the name to something more uh, useful for us. In this case, we're going to use the array. So now we change the variable from uh, name to input array. And what we're going to do, we're going to start now to create a code. So one of the things that I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my array first and I'm going to order uh, in order to do that because I'm going to do something like this. So these are the values that I'm going to put on my array and I'm going to order them uh, by uh, increasing order from 1 to 10 or whatever the, the number we put here. So first of all, let's put this here. So now let's create our array. We're going to, our array is going to be called input array and now we're going to do here a split split and I'm going to split this by comma actually I should uh, change this to array because this actually is going to be a string and then here I'm converting that string to an array so that's why uh, I'm, I'm putting this way and then so and then we're going to select and now I need to convert the value into an uh, in uh, integer because I'm creating an array of integers to int 33 and do an array. So basically what I'm doing, I'm selecting each value and I'm converting each value into an integer and into an array so this is how you declare uh, how do you convert a string to an array what I'm going to do now I'm going to sort my array so in order to do that I'm going to call my array sort 
um, an int. I'm going to call my array variable to new new comparison comparison into int and comparison. So here we're going to put the first value which will be i1 to i2 i1 dot compare compare to to i2 so in here we are getting the the two values and comparing in order to see which position they're going to be so now i'm going to create a list where this list what's going to happen i'm going to restore on this list the values that i'm not going to call i2 so in this case uh, let's grab, grab grab here the the notepad so here i should get one two uh, three so i should get the four which is not here and four five six seven eight nine ten uh, okay so I, I should get the four but then i'm going to do several examples to remove a few just for you guys to see so here it's going to be value whatever the value name is it's a new list so now i have my list created and my array sorted I'm going to create a count to see which number exists on my array and in order to do this instead of for example if you do like um, Java is quite long uh, script here is going to be short because I can use the expression if the array contains uh, my value so so it's going to short my code and I'm going to for I'm going to create here an ints which is I which i the size of i is going to be equal to my array my array uh, last number so if i have 10 it's going to be 10 if i have 11 it's going to be 11 depends on the size of the array i want um so uh, my actually this is brackets array array dot length and minus one because otherwise it counts uh, from the zero plus and plus plus to increment uh, a new a new number what's going on here oh, yeah i need to initialize my variable with one it's zero it's going to look for something zero and it's going to crash so now i have my y and i'm going to see if this value of y is contained on my array and this is going to be an if actually i'm going to do this difference um, because inside of this if this actually is true actually no i don't want if this is true if this is false okay um i'm going to validate i'm going to put the value on my list so if if it doesn't exist i'm going to put the value there and in order to do that first i'm going to check if the value already contains as well my y on my list if the if the value already exists in the list because i could jump and i'm not uh, putting the value to zero so just to do a double check and this is going to be just put here like this way just to be more readable this is going to be oops there's something here missing this is going to be my value at the 
my EI there. And that's it. And yeah, also here is the, I don't want if, for, uh, if doesn't exist, I'm going to add its Okay, so now I have my message, it's going to be a join. So what I'm doing now is converting here, what I'm doing is converting my uh, lists into an array, into a string, so I can read on my browser. So now we can test this, that's the five. open our browser and let's put here local okay could be 2 10 8 okay let's see what's the results okay I'm debugging this now we don't need to debug let's five f9 let's check the results so we have the four, the five, the six, and the seven. So one, two, three, four, it's there. Five, it's there. Six, it's there. Seven, it's there. Eight, nine, ten. So I could even put here uh, 20, for example. And so let's see what are the numbers. I'm going to put to array, press F5. Oops, sorry, I put, so I put a comma and it should be something else. So here we have all the values until the 20. So the 20 is saying that it's not missing, it's there. So as you can see, we can have now, uh, this can work as well, not only uh, with the in numbers, integers, could work with words, could work with geolocation, or could work with X, Y, and Z. If you want to position an object or give a, an orientation to an object, you could check which uh, destination he, he needs to go to. The Of course, the script is going to be a little bit more complex. This is just a simple example on how to avoid the obstacle. Once again, guys, I hope you enjoy building this script with me. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like. This will help me. Unfortunately, I have a lot of views, but most of them are not subscribed. So please help me with that. I'm going to leave the link of the code in the description. And the only thing I have to say now is thank you and see you next week. Cheers.